Good evening, everyone. This is Dr. Sanket Pisat. First of all, I want to thank all of you for joining the group in such large numbers. The purpose of creating this group was just to have some uh, practical discussions among practitioners and students about day-to-day -day issues that they face uh, in patient management, particularly with regards to gynae endoscopy. So, without wasting any time, let us uh, go to the question. But before that, a small disclaimer. Medicine is not an exact science. No one knows everything and every expert was once a beginner. So, any query is most welcome. These opinions that I am going to be giving are my personal opinions. They may be different from published evidence or conventional teaching. But differences of opinion and scientific arguments, in my opinion, are a great opportunity for learning, provided they are backed by some logic. So, I would really encourage you and invite you to leave your views in the comment section below the video. And we will be happy to have a discussion about those queries in the group on the following day. And if you have a difficult or interesting case that you would like to have discussed, we would love to discuss it. So, please send us the images and case history on this email address endogynetraining at gmail.com and of course, due credit will be given to all the contributors. So, with that, let us go to the first case discussion that we had posted in the group and a lot of people have replied. I think among 400 people, at least 250 people have sent in their replies. So, this is a 35-year-old lady. She is a case of primary infertility and she has three failed IUIs. So, the question was with reference to this picture, what does this patient need? Uh, 3D ultrasound, of course, is not done and the picture is gave, provided by Dr. Tejaswini Patil from Mumbai. So, let us take a look at the opinion poll. I have already posted this in the group. And the top three answers that we got were first that she does not need surgery. This was the topmost answer that we got. Then the second most common answer that people thought was correct was synecolysis. And the third most common answer that people have given is B plus C, which means lateral metroplasty plus synecolysis. So, let's analyze the uh, image first and then let us decide which is the correct answer and what is the correct way that we should proceed. So, of course, we are already assuming in this picture that uh, we already have all the other investigations performed, all the other factors like male factor infertility, endocrinopathies, etc., etc., all have been taken care of and this patient has already had a um, trial of trying to conceive for the past several years. Okay, she already had three failed IUI. So, with that background, we are looking at this image. Now, when we look at this image, <clears throat> we first see that some sort of deformity of the uterus does exist. So, if I were to mark it out roughly for you, uh, this where the <clears throat> uh, cannula is Resting, this would be the level of the external os. And this from here when the, where the uterine body is starting, maybe this would be the level of the internal os. So, these are the two levels and the cervix is in between. So, it's a probably a, just a slightly long cervix, but that is not too much of our concern. Now, let us look at the image per se. So, when we look at the image per se, from the internal os, so this is one internal os, this is the internal os obviously, this is one ostium and this is the other ostium. So, imagine that I am actually doing the surgery and let us say that this is the patient's left side. Then on the left side, I will find that when I go in with the estroscope, I will be able to see the ostium directly from the internal os because there is no intervening ridge of tissue in the center. So, I will be able to see the ostium directly. However, when I turn the scope around, I will not be able to see this ostium because this ridge of tissue is entirely blocking my path. Okay. So, this patient will definitely require a lateral metroplasty on one side at least so that we can 
see the internal os i mean we can see the ostium from the internal os so this extra bit of tissue which is there this is definitely bulging inside and this tissue will have to go so i should be able to see the internal os from here so maybe this is the excess amount of tissue which is projecting inside which i need to cut it off so that is the first thing it is clear this this mound of tissue this has to go and uh, this has to get smoothened out like the other side now second question is uh, does she require uh, lat so lateral metroplasty is sorted now does she require um, sinuculosis so if we look closely there are patchy areas over here 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 and here there are patchy areas and these patchy areas may suggest sinuculosis also if we look at the fundus so if we look carefully we can see that this is one uh, tubal ostium this is the other tubal ostium i'll just erase the other marking so that it is easier so these are the two tubal ostia and a line joining the tubal ostia would probably have come at this level and even if one argues that the fundus is slightly arcuate it would still be projecting inside just a little bit like this so to my opinion this projection which is there inside is a little more than what it should be now that is not the only thing if you can see this projection is irregular that means this projection is again i'll erase all this this projection is more on this side and less on this side similarly the projection is more on this side of the cavity than this so one can say roughly that Uh, the left side of the cavity appears to be completely normal if i completely blank out this part for you and if we do not consider this part and we look only at this part then this half of the cavity seems to be completely okay but when we draw our attention to this half of the cavity then it seems that this indentation inside and this indentation inside are both abnormal so one may be tempted to say that this is not actually a case of t shaped uterus or septum this is actually synechia which have formed which have led to all three findings that we are seeing these irregular filling defects yes they could be air bubbles i agree but uh, in successive films and this is the last film so i would not put that very uh, on the top of the list secondly uh, there is an irregular septum like indentation at the fundus thirdly there is ir irregular indentation and inward projection of only one wall so i would probably put this entire findings as synechia more than septum or t shaped uterus of course we could be proved wrong once we go inside with the hysteroscope and we would have to probably do a lateral metroplasty if it is a genuine t shaped uterus a uh, septal incision if it proves to be only a septate uterus but to my mind all three of these could be possible so if i had to pick one answer at least personally i would pick a b and c the reason that i do not think that option this option which maximum number have of people have picked to my opinion is not correct because if this what would have been the finding in a patient in whom uh, she had never tried pregnancy or had never had iui then probably we could have waited and watched and done nothing but with a history of primary infertility which by which definition we are assuming that she has had more than one year of active married life and sexual intercourse uh, it would be uh, wrong to say that with a patient who has already three failed iuis and this appearance of the uterine cavity one would do nothing so at least to my mind does not need surgery does not seem to be the correct answer coming to synecolysis yes synecolysis is a possibility uh, one may say that this answer is also correct and b plus c which is lateral metroplasty plus synecolysis also seems to be the correct answer so if i were to pick i would pick a b and c but all your answers may also be correct uh we will be operating this patient sometime in the coming one or two weeks and at that time we will see what exactly it was and then probably i'll be able to give you a follow up on this
so uh, i would really like you to put in your views and comments in the comment section below the uh, uh, video which we are going to post and uh, then let me know what you feel so that we can have a discussion on uh, the entire topic and if there are any contrarian points of view they are most welcome so thank you very much and we will be posting the next query or next clinical scenario very soon thank you very much